Welcome back, Jensen Lewis, Al Pulowski. One of the guys Bo catches down there is Gavin Williams. Yeah, Gavin was great to talk to, and obviously a guy that has a bright future ahead of him. But in my conversation with him down in Columbus, he revealed a little bit more of his personality, but man, is he an imposing presence as well. The glove kicks and fires, and another fastball right down the middle. It's been a heck of a start for you so far this year. What's really stood out about uh, your development thus far in 2023? Honestly, just taking the stuff from last year that I needed to work on. Uh, took it into the offseason, worked on it a little bit. Uh, just taking videos and sending it to the pitching coordinators and stuff like that just to make sure it was looking good. From double-A to triple-A, and I realize it's only been you know, a month or so, what's been the biggest difference from the competition there to what you faced here? Uh, I mean, there's more of an approach, really. Uh, there's not a lot of free swinging anymore. A lot of, uh, a lot more takes than, than usual. Um, as far as your sequencing, uh, and we know you're a big fastball guy, um, first let's start with that. What's it like to throw 100 miles an hour? Uh, I mean, it's normal, really. Uh, <laughs> it's like throwing 90, 94, I guess, for some people. Uh, I, don't, I don't really feel a difference, but I'll look at the, at the uh, radar again. The off-speed stuff that you have, um, is there a particular out pitch that you feel has been uh, one that you would use primarily for put-away situations, or do you feel comfortable with a few that you can go to? I mean, uh, I'm comfortable with all of them, really. Uh, but this year, I've really worked on the slider, being the main one and the curveball, so they've they both come a long ways. I know that your your physique and your arsenal draws a lot of comparisons to Garrett Cole. I'm sure you've heard that. Obviously, the fastball velocity does too. Was there any part of you that, when you kind of heard that or you've seen that, you thought, you know what, not a, not a bad guy to pattern yourself after? Um, honestly, I didn't really believe people at first until <laughs> they they put a side by side video of us, and I was like, oh dang, they, they are. Uh, they're serious about that. Yeah, yeah. Well, serious uh, not only in stuff, but in results. I mean, heck, if, if that's what it's going to be for you at the big league level, that'd be pretty great. Is there a part of your game here in AAA that you feel you need to finish off to be able to get that call to the show? Uh, I'd say more of the off-speed pitches, uh, being able to land them for strikes uh, and put, a, put away pitches, really. Uh, once I can command them better, I think I could be up there. You got a couple of guys that are up there right now, Tanner Bybee, Logan Allen. I know you've had an opportunity to play with them. Uh, what has it been like to, to talk with them and, and get a sense of what it's been like to be in the show? It's incredible, uh, especially the stuff they've done so far. It's insane just watching them, knowing that I just played with them last year. Uh, it's awesome, really. Has there been anything they've told you, knowing now that they've been there, hey, this is this is what's different from up here, that if you if you work on it down there, you'll be here pretty soon. Uh, honestly, no, not really. We haven't gone that far into it. Uh, really, the only thing is it's, it's, it's a baseball game. Really. Do you remember your first professional outing, and how did it go? I do remember it, because uh, it was snowing. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever pitched in real uh, snow before, and it was super cold. I had like two or three layers of shirts on. Well, if you make it to Cleveland in April, buddy, you're going to be visiting oh, some stuff. I'm used to it now, so it's all right. <laughs> um, when you were a kid growing up, of course, wanting to be a big leaguer was, was probably a dream of yours. Have you envisioned what that day can look like and, and how it'll feel? Uh, a little bit, but I try to st stay away from that for right now because I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Uh, that's when things go wrong. When other teams are calling Cleveland looking for prospects, this is the first guy that comes up. They want Gavin Williams. So you can see Cleveland isn't traded. And talking with the manager, Andy Tracy, pitching coach Owen Dew, I mean, they, they speak to his maturity. That's the biggest difference they've seen in his rise to, to AAA and his success thus far. You can see the stuff plays just absolutely beautifully at the AAA level. Now, how does that translate to the big league level? On stuff alone, he's major league ready. There's no question about that. When we